everyone, it's Walker. Welcome back to All of Rab Nails. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It's great to have you again. If you're new here, I talk mostly about vegan and cruelty-free nail polish. My goal is to help you build the best vegan and cruelty-free nail polish collection for you. Today I'm doing a really exciting collab video with Kayla from Cork Manicures. And I'll link her channel and her Instagram down below so you can go check her out. Um, her video will be up sometime today. And she had put kind of a call out on Instagram and said, if you want to collab with me, let me know. Um, and we have a couple other ideas that we're talking about, but we thought this would be a really fun way to kind of kick off our collaboration on YouTube. So this is a tag that was going around a couple years ago when we decided that we wanted to bring it back. Um, so I am going to be answering 12 questions, 12, 12 questions. I have them on my phone down here and just kind of telling you a little bit more about myself and about my nail polish journey. So I hope you learned something, hope you're interested in this video, and definitely don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already because then you'll see the rest of my nail polish content that usually will focus a little bit more on polish and less on me, promise. Um, okay, so the first question is, um, what color are you wearing right now? And I am wearing Pepper from Zoya on my nails. Um, and I'm actually gonna paint my nails right after this video. It's a little tiny bit chipped, but I love this color. Um, I talked about it in my fall favorites video. It's my favorite red for fall. It's great. Um, what nail product can't I live without? And I think this is a really good question. I, somebody's video said from, you know, several years ago said they couldn't live without nail polish remover because otherwise they would never be able to paint their nails again, which I thought was a really good answer. Um, but I think that probably the answer I'm gonna go with is top coat. I feel like I usually wear my polish for like two to three days and I know that I don't take good care of my nails. Like I, I do dishes, you know, I take a shower, I like things happen in my life. And so if I wasn't wearing top coat, I could not make it to the end of that third day and look, you know, presentable. Um, Zoya nail polish lasts a long time, but I'm not careful <laughs> with my nail polish. So that, you know, getting to that third day, top coat is really important, so. Um, okay, what is my favorite nail brand? Mm, this one's really hard kidding. Um, Zoya is definitely my favorite brand. They were, when I was like, wanted to paint my nails more often and I was trying to find good nail polish, I did a ton of research um, because I, I am vegan and so I wanted a brand that was vegan. But I had tried some vegan brands that like sucked, to be honest. They were really bad. <laughs> and so I was nervous. I thought that maybe there wasn't any out there that was vegan and like quality. Um, but Zoya, like totally changed my mind on that, obviously. Um, and I got totally hooked and I've been buying Zoya ever since. So Zoya is definitely my favorite brand. I think they're kind of my go-to. Like if a polish is not as good as Zoya, then I'm not gonna keep it. Um, if it's a color that's in Zoya's collection, not gonna keep it because Zoya's is probably better. <laughs> so they're kind of my standard. Um, as far as indie brands that I really like, I really like the creams from Dimension Nails. I think they do have some colors that are just like a little bit unique. Um, I have been really excited about the like holographic and flaky polishes that I've tried from Quixotic polishes. Um, so I think right now those are kind of my two favorites, um, but Zoya definitely takes the cake for me. Um, what nail shape do I wear? Uh, my nails are square at the top, so they're like not super long, um, but they're squared off at the top. Um, I don't think they're squoval, because I think my corners are like pretty square. Um, yeah, I just really like this. I find this like the easiest to file. I don't have to like think about it that much. I just like make them all the same length and then round the corners a little bit so they don't like crack every time I touch something. Um, so I don't know that it's like the shape that suits me the most, um, but it's like the easiest for me to maintain basically. Um, what's my go-to red? pink and neutral polish. Um, I think that this would have to depend on the season. Um, for fall right now, definitely pepper is my go-to red. I love pepper. Um, neutrals in the fall, I'm really excited. I really like like um, taupe colors. I like taupes a lot for the fall. So I've been wearing like Noah. I've been wearing um, from Quixotic Polish in their most recent collection. It's, um, what is it called? Uh, it's um, this one from Quixotic Polish. It's called Let Me Fall. It's like taupe with copper flakies. Um, 
yeah, for a pink polish, I don't wear a ton of pinks. Um, I was really excited about the like corals that I was wearing this summer. I did some comparisons of those. Um, and so maybe my go-to pink is like mini now because I, I really liked mini in the summer collection this summer from Zoya. Um, yeah, I don't wear a ton of pink. I think the pinks that I default to are like Piper from Zoya, which is more like a blush or like, um, yes, it's fine from paint. That's like um, a super light blush. So yeah, I don't know. I don't wear a lot of pink. Short or long nails. Um, I think my nails are like medium length. <laughs> They're not super short. Like definitely I've had them shorter, but this is my preferred length right now. They're probably about like, I don't know, two or three. Can you see how much I have there? Yeah. I don't know. They're like two or three centimeters above like the tip of my fingers. You know what I mean? Um, but I could cut them pretty far back if I wanted to. Um, so I think this is a good length because they don't get in the way of things, but I still have like enough that I feel like they're a little bit longer. I don't know if these answers are making any sense. <laughs> okay, number seven. What nail polish colors are on your nail wish list? Um, I, ooh, 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 um, good question. I have one mustard polish that is like pretty light mustard. It's like very yellow. It's not super brown. I think I'm really excited to have like a darker mustard in my collection. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to cave and buy a couple from KL Polish. They have like Caramello and they have peanut butter. They have some of those like yellowy browns that are really pretty right now. Um, I was also pretty obsessed with basically the entire facets collection from um, from Cirque this year. Mm, yeah, um, but I think the brand that I'm like hankering after right now is Society Wit. Um, maybe by the time I post this video I'll have actually bought some of her polishes. Um, I really like Meredith. I think she's really awesome. Um, I love her swatches. I love her videos and her polishes look so beautiful and so I've just been trying to save <laughs> for some of those polishes. Um, so yeah, I guess not really a color, but um, those are kind of the things that are like on my list of things that I'm interested in right now. Question number eight, when do you paint your nails? Morning, afternoon, or evening? Um, I almost always paint my nails in the evening, like after work. Um, I'm down to a routine now that takes me like between 15 and 20 minutes um, if I'm just painting and probably like 25 to 30 if I need to like file and everything. Um, and then, you know, I take pictures, so it takes me another like, my camera's basically like set up to take swatch photos, so it takes me another like five minutes to take pictures. Um, so I do it in the evening before I go to bed. So yeah, that's pretty much what I do. And then what's my top nail tip that I swear by? Hydration. Absolutely. Like hands down. Um, you will look better, feel better. <laughs> Everything will be easier if your nails are really well hydrated. So um, whatever you want to do, if that's like a balm, if that's a oil, that is what I do. Um, I use the Naked Manicure set and then I have like a homemade um, coconut oil balm oil that I'm that I made that I just put on um but I'm kind of experimenting with some other products I haven't found one that I love yet so when I do I'll, I'll let you know but definitely hydration is super important um number 10 what nail polish do you regret buying um I don't think I regret buying very many nail polishes to be honest um I want to own all of Zoya's polishes just for like comparison points and because I have like a little bit of a like type A personality and I like to check things off my spreadsheet. It makes me feel really good. <laughs> so I want to own all of Zoya's polishes. So even if there are some that I may like never wear, I'm glad to have them because I feel like I learned something from swatching them. Um, I think the only thing that I like regret doing, I did like earlier in September, I like placed an order with Zoya. And then a couple weeks later, like I just sucked it up. There were some colors that I really wanted and I paid full price for them. I don't know why. Um, and then a couple weeks later they did their like buy 12 polishes for $60, which is basically like 50% off. And I should have just waited. <laughs> so I guess I regret that um, a little bit, but not that much. I don't regret buying this, but I regret that they made pretty much the entire Element collection. I'm, like really unhappy with that collection. I've had it and I've like worn one of the polishes since I bought it in like August. Um, 
I just think it's boring. I don't feel like it like added anything to my collection. I'm glad I own it because I want to own them all, but it was boring and fall can be so great. So I guess I regret that they did that. I regret that they made that. Um, okay, number 11, neon or pastel. Um, definitely pastel, I think is my preference. I do have a couple neons that I really like and I think neons look really good on other people. Um, but they're like not quite my style. So I would say pastel is my preference. And number 12, what's your favorite color right now that you wear all the time? Um, I tend to not go back to a polish more than once, but I am really this season obsessed with olive green. <laughs> um, I have like several olive green and then I've also been going into like the dusty greens like the Dree and Ireland. And I'm just like really loving those greens right now. I think they're they're basically like a neutral. Like I feel like I can wear them all the time, anytime. Um, and they're so gorgeous. So that's like the color that I'm wearing all the time right now. Awesome, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you learned something about me, about nail polish, about, you know, whatever you wanted to learn about. Um, definitely hit subscribe so that you don't, you know, miss the more nail polish related content on my channel. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you wanna see swatches of the polishes in my collection, like the ones that I talked about today, then follow me on Instagram at Olive Ave Nails. Um, Pepper is already up there, so you can go see her. She is absolutely gorgeous. I love her. And yeah, see you next time.